What's up, everybody, and welcome to X Defiant. This is Ubisoft's brand new multiplayer shooter game that brings a bunch of different factions from various games like Splinter Cell, Watch Dogs, Ghost Recon, The Division, and even Far Cry, and brings them all into one game, making them different factions. You've got loadouts similar to Call of Duty, and so far, it's actually been a pretty good time. Last night, I jumped into a few matches with some friends, did a little bit of recording but this is going to be my part one where i can give a little bit more feedback we're going to be jumping into some raw gameplay see how the game is uh test out different factions that i didn't get to play and then kind of go from there so if you guys end up enjoying this leaving a like on the video makes a huge difference see if we hit that 30 like goal and the more we hit that the more episodes i will put out but for now we're going to go ahead and load up into a match and then go from there so just as a quick overview, while we search for a new match here, you can see you do have a welcome playlist, which is only from level 1 to 25, and it is skill-based matchmaking. Now, from my understanding, the rest of the game modes here are just completely, you go into the game mode, there's no skill-based matchmaking or anything. I am going to continue doing the welcome playlist, and we'll go from there, but also as a heads up, I do have uh, the Battle Pass and I also have the Dead Sec Faction Unlocked since I am a Ubisoft creator, Ubisoft wow, partner, so shout out to now. them for providing me that. I would have had it anyways because I have Ubisoft Plus and I've been a Ubisoft Plus member for quite a while, but either way, I appreciate it, So, and it's always cool to see. So we're actually going to start with the cleaners for this match, I'm going to go Incinerator Drone. And then I'm going to stick with the AK. The M4, I was actually liking. A lot of my friends didn't enjoy it that much. But you can see we got right into a match here, which is uh, kind of nice how quick the, the matchmaking was there. They were having some issues on launch, which is technically yesterday. Um, but it seems like when I, when I actually got to playing the game last night, it was... It was fine, so, and haven't really had any issues since then. We'll see about the weekend. It would be kind of cool if we could see what the player count is for this game, but unfortunately, since it's only on Ubisoft Plus, I we're not able to see that. I mean, on the Ubisoft launcher. It is crossplay though, so there there is that, and you can also enable disable crossplay. Same thing with uh, if you want to play with only only people on mouse and keyboard, or if you only want to play with people on controller, if you're on console, same thing. But so far, it's it's been pretty cool. On the bottom of this screen here, you can see that, so I have a grenade, which I'll use right now. You can cook them. I found out way too late. I don't know how I survived that. And then the other ability, the E, is a special ability that each faction has something different. Like this. So throw a giant, uh, or well, well, like a tiny little drone for the cleaners and go spit fire. When I selected my loadout earlier, you can also use another one, which I believe was the firebomb. Changing fire! That one I haven't tried as much, but you can see it right here. So this will change your E ability. And then each faction has something different. As far as I know, the so like the other classes and stuff, um, they're just looks for your character. It's not actually, I think it keeps the same, just different skins. Same abilities, different skins, basically. But yeah, it's, it's been pretty cool so far. Like, for those of you that don't know, or if you're, this is your first video of mine that you're watching, I am not a multiplayer guy. I'm typically not great at them. Like, I'm okay sometimes, but I am no way an expert. And I play a lot of single player games, RPGs, stuff like that. But as somebody that's going into this with, like, not really any expectations other than, okay, Ubisoft has a new game out that... That includes a bunch of their factions. Might as well try it. And it's free to play, so... I figured, why not jump into it? 
Surprisingly, I'm doing I'm doing okay right now. It is my first match of today, and I did get to play a little bit last night. But yeah, after each match, I'll do my best to swap in uh, different classes or different factions that you can play as. Maybe try out different guns, too. Now, the, the guy that I just killed right there, he was playing the Phantoms faction. And the one nice thing about them is they have 120 HP. So you get an extra 20 HP um, while playing as them. The guy that I'm playing right now, the cleaners, um, their main thing, I believe, is you do damage over time with your bullets, which is pretty nice. Nice. We got that. Uh, let me see if it actually shows you. Does it tell you anymore? Okay, so this is your ultra. You get a flamethrower pretty much. Incinerator ability. There's the firebind. You can choose one or the other. And then incendiary rounds, which is their passive. Basically does damage over time when you shoot. Which I am a big fan of damage over time effects. I've never really seen them in shooter games before. But it's still pretty cool, I know. Like, I'm not complaining right now. And then the phantoms. Oh, jeez. When we switch to the other characters, too, or factions, I'll check them out. The is moving in the right direction. That, that M44 sniper, last night, one of our final matches when we were finishing up, there was probably two or three guys that were using it and just no scoping us throughout the entire match. It it was tough. I'm Let's not gonna lie, it was it was very rough. But it was a good time. Either way, we had some good matches. We had some rough ones. Five, four, three, nice. Two, we stopped them one. from uh, moving that. So this game mode was escort. Now it's gonna switch sides here. You and your crew got the job done. Where they, oh wait, no, I guess so. I joined one in progress and you can see that we had it at, my team had it at 99.7% complete. And they only got it to like, uh, I forget what the percentage was, 50, 60 there. Let's see, let's give a thumbs up to Lord here. And this gives, Gives you a little bit of XP, actually, just by giving a thumbs up to one person. Hey, gal, got two points. I don't know if you get some, too, back, like if somebody else gives you a thumbs up. But I guess uh, we'll see. So next match, once we load in here, I'll s let's see. I could go as a different faction. So we got the battle pass upgraded. And as far as I know, the only thing that you can buy is skins. So right now we just leveled up our gun. Leveling up your gun gives you more sights and all of that. There's also like preset loadouts for when you're starting the game. So that way you, you have some attachments already and you do level up every gun that you use in the preset loadouts. But I've been using the AK for a bit. Um, it's actually not too bad. I think it's kind of cool. The only two guns I really have used is the M4 and the AK. And the AK just has a little bit more kick um, than the M4. But the M4, I feel like the accuracy on it was pretty good. I'll actually throw on a, a weapon booster here. Okay, never mind. <laughs> too fast loading in. We got the Ghost Recon Phantoms hideout. It's cool that it tells you what the location, like what the game location is uh, from. And then it'll also tell you, you know, what it is. So Occupy is pretty much hard point from my understanding. So it's gonna, there's gonna be a capture the objective point 
and then it's gonna move every Occupy. like minute or so. It's like King of the Hill, but without the hill. And this match is pretty short Three. too. I think it's only Two. about a five minute one. timer. Take the zone. Don't let nobody in ain't one of you. Escort has been the longest game mode that I've played so far. Because that is you have to push it push the objective to a checkpoint and then the when you get to the checkpoint the time uh time extends now if nobody gets to the other to the checkpoint then of course that guy's it could be a little own. slower than that or it'll be a little bit of a faster match but Try going up here. I did actually play the beta for this game a little bit when it initially was announced and stuff, but I only went in for about two or three matches and I got absolutely wrecked and then I put it down. I don't think I did any recording though. It's just fully testing it out and seeing how it is. The capture zone is changing the location. Trying to get to the objective. Guys on the zone. Nice level five. And the oh, so the other cool thing about when you level up your guns, you can actually edit your loadout right in the match and Adios, equip deploy. any new attachments that you unlock. So when I die here, I'll actually check and see if, if we have anything new. I'm gonna die. Yeah, and it was coming. So if I go here, go to edit, and go to this, and we've got a new rear grip, the heavy grip. Now you can see the default. I guess that's the default. Is everything's like that usually, and now we've got higher mobility and higher accuracy. Good shot. Move away from that. They're on the zone. Ah, uh, close. Okay. But the objective so far and everything with the shooting has been better than I but better than I anticipated it to be. Um like I said, I, I really struggled in the beta and I, I just was getting one shotted. But I actually feel like I can take a decent amount of hits now and still like potentially come back there are some times where you die and it's just constant dying over and over and over um for sure just like any any shooter game out there but yeah look at that not bad and it, the objectives have been fun the the little matches that i have done so far i i haven't played most other objectives yet other than occupy and escort maybe one other i think i did there's one that's similar to like domination where you capture three objectives but that's it that's about it and i'm very much a big uh hey i i might not get all the kills but i i always try my best to play the objective because if it's obviously a team-based game then that's that's the whole point you can get a, you, you can get like 50 kills in one match but if your team isn't capping the objective why does it even matter it's probably battlefield that ingrained that into me because i used to i used to be a big conquest player for a very long time back in like battlefield 1942 or battlefield two days and 2142. Damn. We got a ton of points from doing that right there, though. God. <laughs> Where's that? The guy was just chilling there. We're in the zone. All right, let's cook a grenade. Somebody's coming down from there. Where are they? I think they're not even trying to come here. Holding. Oh, 
Okay, now they're now they're trying to catch up. Can't see anything. They're coming from right there. Ah oh, man. That's the ability that, that I have. After this match, we'll swap. We'll go between factions because I actually haven't played uh, anything Look other out. than the cleaners and a little bit of again. Phantom because of that extra health that you get. The zone. Which playing as, as a Phantom while doing the escort mission feels pretty self-explanatory, especially if you are escorting the objective. Because you get that extra 20 HP, and I'm sure that can make a decent difference. Damn. Probably one of my favorite maps so far is they have a third echelon HQ map. Capture zone on the move. That I mean, it, it's cool, but there's some like air ducts that you can sneak through and. Enemies can They're come out of nowhere through them. So you gotta be at, keep an eye out on those. But the whole theme of the map is really cool. All right, so I have my, my ult available. And this thing shreds. But the problem is you have to be very, very close to your enemies. And I, I believe if you try using it and don't get any kills with it starting out, or when you do activate it, wow. <laughs> when you do activate it, um, nice. If you don't, it, it, once you activate it and start shooting it, if you don't get any kills, even if you die, you pretty much lose it, which is unfortunate. Wow, I'm amazed. I got a kill there. Nice. All right, we're almost there. We need to get to 250. Still doing a little bit better than I was expecting. All right, let's try it. No. So I was able to, to pull it out there, but since I didn't get a shot off, it didn't count. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Holy. The skill-based matchmaking is working in my favor right now. I guess. Probably won't be for long, though. Alright, they're not, they're not close enough. Damn, whoa, that guy, like, zoomed over here. It'll be cool to see what other potential factions they add here, though. Alright, we got, like... You... Points left, and there it is. Oh, oh, got one of them. Own that capture zone. Damn. Enemy thrown out. Down with that. Little cheetah. Oh, I'm gonna die. Yeah, I was, I was low HP anyways. One thing that makes it a little rough or weird about this game is right now I'm playing in borderless window, and uh, your mouse when you die you have free control of your mouse again and your mouse can slide over to the other screen like you can see my mouse right here and it just goes straight up to the other screen nothing locks it into the game we're capturing I'll there we go victory it's like a win for me too not bad not to get poetical two matches Memories are sick. So I'm not sure how long we'll go for this episode. But we'll definitely try to get in a, a few matches here. I'll give Headmaster a thumbs up. <laughs> wow, they got three thumbs up. Jeez. <laughs> Giving them all the XP. But yeah, it's it's been pretty cool. The battle pass, um, I believe, just has a bunch of, like, you can get some XP bonuses. You can get a bunch of 
skins, loadouts, all that stuff. So we got this um, this one last time. It looks like the next unlock is the weapon XP. It's all the way towards the end. The rare Jing skin. It doesn't exactly tell you where that, what faction they are. I think that might be dead sec. Yeah, yeah that's definitely the cleaners. We're getting matches pretty fast right now. It it took maybe a minute or so ah, last night, but this is way really faster. Go claim them zone. All right, so this Keep match, we're going to go rat. Phantom. And then this guy, you can either... The ultimate is a giant plasma shield. That thing, I've seen a decent amount of times. It's pretty crazy. I'm going to go with the mag barrier because you can just uh, shoot that. You'll see in a second here. And then here's the extra. You get increased health which makes it 120 hp instead so i'll stick with the ak for right now let's see what we got oh this is the division map oh that's sick domination emporium uh, so it's literally just called domination Damn. yeah this is the division mall Oh, Times Square is also a really cool map that they have. That's what I, I, it's such a unique concept, which like personally, if this was just another, I mean, and, and you could argue it is another generic shooter. Um, but since it takes a lot of franchises, especially some that I personally love, like Watch Dogs, Ghost Recon, personally still love the series. Um, of course, of course, Splinter Cell, and then Far Cry and Division. I mean, there's so many things that they can do with this. Like, they could actually add in players from, like, uh, Rainbow Six eventually. They could add in... I, I'm curious if they are planning on adding new factions. Because there's, there's so much potential with that. If they, you know, now that right now this is the preseason stuff, but they still have a preseason battle pass. But down the line, who knows what they will do? Um, adding, if they do end up adding new factions, I mean, I'm assuming that's probably the the end goal, because factions, in a way, play like, I guess you could say they play like heroes from other hero shooters. Each faction has two different special abilities that you can choose from, but but at the end of the day, um, oh, hold, got him, or an assist. But at the end of the day, there's technically only like five factions five heroes you can play as with two different abilities each so i i guess it kind of turns it into 10 depending on how you look at it Enemies on beam. Light them up. i think e even though i haven't played as them yet i Captain feel like the contested. ultimate that i might resonate the most with might be the phantoms because the phantoms gives you a giant like a giant laser gun and a giant shield and i i love either being a tank or a healer i haven't decided like what kind of style i'm gonna be more often than the cleaners though i still really like because that base damage over time like that that has been really good Go for the objective. Oh, don't get man. Oh, I walked right into that. Hostiles taking B. Right into the grenade there. <laughs> of course. But yeah, as always, if you guys are enjoying this, again, leaving a like on the video makes a huge difference. Uh, the more likes we get, the more episodes that I'll put out. 
I'm probably going to try to record. I mean, honestly, I'm, I'm having fun. Um, I don't know if this is the type of game that I could stream. I mean, doing like one hour segments, uh, recordings, I think would be a little bit better because there's probably, well, I know there are a ton of other streamer streamers playing this right now. So it's very, very saturated, but I know not as many people are going to be doing let's plays of it at least, uh, specifically recording let's plays so and that's what we do here we do a lot of just raw gameplay footage no editing just when i get into a match it starts i'm not talking like pre-recorded voice slogs or uh dialogue or anything like that damn secure all the capture zones and keep them that way Hostiles taking B. Try to use the uh, the shield a little bit more. Where was that guy? I don't know if that's gonna get anybody. Shield out. Oh, I'm thinking that I have the, the other blast for a second there. So the the third echelon class is the one where you can see enemies, um, and you you can also I believe they have a ultimate ability that scans the entire place for like a certain period of time. I'm not sure if that was it right there, um, but it, it's kind of crazy. You can just straight up see your enemies. So what do you whether you like that or not? Looks like we're about to have this soon, potentially, as long as we keep it going. I am down, but not out. Holding. Yet. Holding. Coming Jen. Up. Things are looking good. Oh, there's a guy back there. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. It's so funny how you die, like your body freezes in the air. I think only only we see that though. I think for them, my body just drops to the ground. Barrier up. There it I is. Mean, of course we won. Another match. And I personally I, I kinda like these quick matches. Like five minutes, go, go, go. Not too bad. And that's that's where I said the the escort one is probably the longest so far. Personal best winning streak. Wow, really? Domination score. I'll give them thumbs up. Nobody's thumbs upping anybody else. It's free XP. It's like a hundred free XP. So now we'll go back to the main menu and then I will go ahead and do the next faction. Which I'm not sure which one that is yet. So let's see. Yeah, these matches are going fast. So we'll go liber actually, since dead sec is so dead sec you have to unlock. Um and from my understanding, there's like a challenge that you have to do. I think it'll show up like this. Yeah, major challenge. It'll be right here. So a lot of times you'll have to complete the major challenge in order to lock that or unlock that. Um, so for me, last night actually when I was playing, uh, I guess it just wasn't updated or whatever. It was like you need 700,000 XP in order to unlock dead sec. Now... Um, either if you have Ubisoft plus, or if you're a Ubisoft creator, you get access to the dead sec and the battle pass, which I was wondering if there was any rewards for having Ubisoft plus. And, uh, today I just found that out. I was, I was looking, I'm like, wait, what, did, what do they do for this game? There's also like a, you can buy a founders pack and a few other stuff, which includes like all of the. I think the battle pass is like for the first year if you wanted to. I think the highest tier is like 40 bucks. 
um, which honestly for Ubisoft is is not terrible to be honest, uh, especially because it's a free to play game. Okay, I have not played this one at all. I don't think it's a Far Cry Six map. We're gonna go dead sec for this one. Got me in. And then what are the two? Prevent enemies from using their ability and ultra in the area effect. Hack enemy deployment abilities and mark them as your own. Okay. Deploy a spider bot that will target and stun nearest foe via the face hug. I got hit with that a few times. That messes you up. Domination. After a device is deployed, the fabric creator prints a new an one. Active lifestyle. Let's go spider bot. And we're going to stick with the AK for right now because I'm doing okay Three, with it. Two, one. Take all the zones, keep out the goons. Team capturing zone A. Maybe next round, uh, cause I'm trying to showcase what I what I can here. So next round, maybe zone I'll try secured. out uh the M4. I'll throw on another XP boost and try that out, or try the other um the Team other default weapon. Zone zone oh man. Enemies are attacking zone A. Alright, let's try this. Oh, it's going for him. Oh, <laughs> I saw them. Scanning for hostiles. It's oh, yo, that so that does damage over time too. Cover me. Oh. Case Ouch. The not get ups. Do we all have a standard of 100 oh. HP. I don't know. Things aren't looking too great for this match. I'm gonna run to C. See. see if we can grab this. Yeah, I felt like I was a little bit outside by myself there. Captures uncontested. Live your best life, little guy. Go get him. Team taking captures own B. It's interesting that they shot this all the way out there, but I guess they're using it so that way you can't shoot them. Instead of cover, Enemies on capture zone like they, they threw their shield out in front of them towards the uh, team taking capture zone C. The enemy team. Hope you like spider bots. I'm going for it. Nice. Got it. Saw him coming around. Oh man. Wow, the the regen on the face the face hugger thing is really fast. The two objectives captured. Go get some hug. Ooh. Oh, it prints the... So your abilities regen faster. That's what happens. That's why it says it says printing on the grenade. Wait, that's actually kind of cool. I mean, I, I personally, I love that sec. That sec is such cool. Um, such a cool faction. I don't know. As much as I love third echelon too, I don't know how practical playing them are because I think they're they might have less HP I can try after this match and look but Hope you like spider bots. team taking capture zone B yeah you can see it's printing right now that's so cool uh, level 10 And then our so the alt ability disables their abilities. Team taking zone B. 
I mean, if more deployables become available, then I can see how the other contested. the other Zone special ability danger. might be better. But right now, I feel like the uh, the stun thing is probably the best one. Friends. Get 50 spider bot kills or shock assists. Come on, we gotta get the objective. Great, got him. Ah. That's always the worst because like sometimes that location you see that I'm always looking down there trying to get somebody. Go get some hugs! Oh, you can actually throw it with this? Nice. Damn. Get cracking on those zones. Take them and keep them. Our team's losing. Have you considered not losing? <laughs> Come on. Uh, of course, that's actually genius placement there. My team, my whole team's trying to go for a C right now. Gathering intel. I'll move to C. Ultra is ready nice. to go. Oh, oh, she's got extra health. Jeez. Zone is contested. Ah oh, man, did that even do anything? Okay, disruption assist. Deploying sticky. Friendly team is taking C. Reload. Okay, we're overloading them. Nice. You can see through walls now. Consider running rather than hiding. Zone owned by you lot. Nice. Zone we a almost captured the, their base too. Oh man. They're going to come back hard for this though. For They're the going to really push for this. Where's my spider bot going? Oh, they went for our A. Looks like we're in for a grim ending here. What? Gotcha. We're claiming A. It appears we are losing B. I mean, you might as well just keep tossing grenades with. Okay, I, I, I like Dead Sec more than I was expecting to. We're on B. See, there's the, uh, I wasn't able to use it when I played as the Phantom, but that's, that was their ultimate ability there. Not, uh, what? Oh, wow. I guess they kept their one spot and they, they caught up. That's right. pre that fur, you competent mammal. Hey, player of the game. Look at that. Not too bad. I'll take it. Four zone recaptures. Okay. Damage healed. Hey, I'm going to give the healer some love. All right. Nobody likes... Hey, there we go. Yeah, you get 200 XP from giving somebody thumbs up. Damn, they just got 600. All right, that match was pretty good. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Service is not available at this time. Oh, boy. Is that going to be the end of this video? Let's see. Let's see. All right, getting into another match here. It looks like it's loading in. I will say that the load in screen, I'm surprised they just kept it a black screen and then all you see is the percentage in the bottom right. Like even loading into the game in the beginning, Kinda does that too. 
All right, so before we try finding a match here, so let's actually look at this. Here's the echelon. Reveal enemies and hunt them down with the pistol, so that's their ultimate ability. Render the agent nearly invisible. Movement and aiming reduces the effect. Intel suit. So, th yeah, this is the one that you can periodically scan. So, you have two of them. You have this sonar goggles that I think lasts longer, and then you get the pistol or the Intel suit, which is the one that, that I see most people using because that it's an ability that literally just finds their, their position and does a pulse. And then low profile, your character does not appear on the opponent's minimap regardless of actions performed. So you can be shooting, whatever the case. Uh, Libertad, I like too, but I haven't really played as them. They're more of the healer class. Their ultimate ability can save you. Like if you get one person with the cleaner alt available and Libertad at the same time and you throw them down, you're, it's pretty much the, the enemy team's done. Because this is just going to heal them an insane amount um, and you're, you're just going to have extra health. Then there are two other abilities. They can uh, give themselves a health regen for yourself and allies or throw a revitalizing gas canister that heals friendlies until destroyed or canceled. Contagious spirit of freedom constantly heals you and nearby allies. Pretty cool too. Um, and then of course we were playing as the the phantoms earlier so for the first starting factions i feel like they they definitely all have their positives um let's see if we can get into another match here and i'll continue on with the we'll keep going with our swap in between factions that way i can try to do at least one match per faction in this video so we've done dead sec uh, so far, all we have left is Libertad and third echelon. So let's go. Let's actually go with the echelon this match. Showtime occupy. And then I might might swap guns here instead. I don't know if I'll use the I mean, the AK I Definitely the AK right now is going to be my main gun, but I might try something else just to see what it's like. Let's go, go echelon here, Intel suit. We'll try the MP5. It's a submachine gun. Oh yeah, and just in case you guys wanted to see, so when you go to the guns, here are a lot of the starting ones. There's an MDR, ACR. Here's all the other SMGs, shotguns, LMGs, marksmen, Occupied. sniper. Here's the, setup. Seek the M44 seek is the effect. one that people keep destroying with. Three. Let's. Two, oh god. One. Secure the capture zone. Let's Talk try the MP5. Let's just give it a try. Especially because this class is going to be like up close. Well, I feel so much faster right now with them. Capture zone contested. Yeah, I'm not sure if I would really play as this class personally. Um, unless if you're, uh, if you're going for like a, a silenced class or I mean, everything that you do is, is pretty much silenced. If you're going for that or like a sniper, I feel like this is the perfect class to play as then. In that case, it, it makes sense, especially with revealing enemy positions, but... You're down. Oh, God. Zone is <laughs> hey, we're, as long as we're capping the objective, that's what matters. Gathering intel. Cool. Allies on the zone. Are they at? Are they at? Here they come. Capture zone contested. So we have an compromise. objective for get a thousand. 
Thousand damage using SMGs. Oh god. I'm hurt. I'm hurt. I'm hurt. I need a medic. We're on the zone. I don't know how I survived that. I thought I was done for. Capture zone is moving. Sending new locations to drop that now. Oof. The zone's in danger. Okay. Objective moving. Capture zone contested. What? Oh, I sec I swapped my secondary, but couldn't get a shot off fast enough. Rocks mine ready to rock. Nice. You got dead sec here. Oh, oh. Oh, behind us. Shoot. Get 50 Allies intel suit zone. spot assist. Zone compromised. Should have thrown a grenade in there. Capture zone is moving. Gathering intel. We're locking down the zone. Damn. They can run, but hiding might be a problem. So got the objective capture though. So matters. Setting a brox mine. Oh wait, he said, wow, you actually get mines too at some point. That's pretty cool. Stay back, spooky shredder. Come on. One good grenade will get us all right now. Allies on the zone. Nice. Aw, oh, man. Yep, there's the M44, man. I need to try that. Compromise. Capture zone is moving. Sending new location to your opsat now. Damn. Okay, next one's gonna be here any second. Gathering intel. Throw it a break, life, little guy. We're all moving back left, right. We have the wind. Almost got it. Reloading. Changing fights. Capture zone contested. Stop the intro. Condition. Right out. Clinical. The one cool Rogue thing I, I will say that they have about this game that they didn't or that I haven't mentioned yet is so they have skins, right? Of course, they have camos and all that, but there's Capture actually weapon skins, too, that change up the entire look of your uh, of your guns. So it'll make it like like an ACR futuristic instead. Um, and I think one of the guys that we just ran into back there had one. Um, so it's it's not just a camo, but it also changes the entire style. It's still the same gun and all that, but entire new look to it, which is sick. Heads up. I'm detecting our sonar tech in enemy hands. Oh. Grenades! I don't know if there's a way you can toss the grenades back, but that would be so nice. Capture zone contested. Oh no, I'm out of ammo. Yep. Oh shoot. <laughs> I pressed two to. Whoops, I laughed at them. Capture zone is moving. Sending new locations to your off that Oh, now. man. Rogue Echelon agent activated sonar goggles. We're locking down the zone. Uh, okay, moving. I know I saw like two or three people. Okay. It would be cool if there was like a, a little bit of a kill cam, so that way you can see. That's the guy that had the M44. You know what? I could try it. New armament let's, acquired. let's give it a shot. The zone's in danger. Loading ammo. 
Oh. Oh. Headshot. <laughs> Oh, he was reloading. We're on the zone. Reload. My ult's almost available. The zone's in danger. There's, <laughs> there's some matches where it, it takes very long for you to get your ultimate available. Ultra ready. Or ultra. Capture zone contested. All right, that's pretty sick. All right, that thing is crazy. <laughs> wow. All right, his pistol there was... Sam Fisher's pistol there was honest, honestly amazing. For the, like, 10 seconds that that lasted. And the fact that it was, like, all, pretty much one-hit kills. Oh god. All right, five more points. That's it. We're on the zone. Childish Davino. That's funny. Zone under assault. I don't think many people are actually cooking their grenades, too. Oh, one more. One more. One more. Victory. Success. It's almost like you've done this before. Not bad. Jake Meister, 2014. Damage healed. I'm going to give the healer some love. Score is dead set. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Capturing time. Come on. No. No. Team best. Uh, so you have match best, team best. All right, last last match we'll probably do. We'll play as Libertad, and then I think that will be a good uh, first, you know, first playthrough episode of this. Again, if you guys are enjoying this, leaving a like on it helps out a whole lot. Uh, we'll play as the Libertad, and I don't know. We'll. Let's see what guns I can use. Deal damage with SMGs. These are the base challenges. I'll go for this. Yeah, I'll keep using the, uh, the SMG for right now to get the that base challenge complete. I mean, in one match, we did 1,500, so that's not too bad daily challenges complete two matches in a party earn 7,000 as phantoms earn 10,000 as echelon oh. slow it down for a second did we unlock anything for the mp5 close very close dumbo the division occupy okay Oh, this map. I know this. I, I played this one in the beta, too. Yeah, this one I was getting wrecked in. I'm with you. Um, I'll go with this one. Yeah, we'll stick with the that for now. Got a lot of healers this match. Right. A lot of healers. Maybe a lot of, that'll uh, work in our favor. Occupy. Dictators have their eagles' nests. Guerrillas have their capture zones. That's Tres, cool that it. Dos, uno. I love Take that. The <laughs> Keep out the it changes the the narrator's voice depending on what team you're you're on. That's so cool. Grenades away. Nothing clings like burning. Damn.
Protect the zone. Securing the zone. Ah, close. Alright, it's gonna move any second I'm holding. I wonder how long so that your thing stays there until it times out or it's destroyed, I believe. Changing mags. Nice. Leveled up the gun. I can also equip the uh the new scope in a second here. Right, let's go change loadout. The capture zone is changing location. Optics. Whoops. Cool. Securing the zone. be going out here in the open we just need to hold the objective oh god that was coming straight <laughs> i watched that death come to me damn the, zone. the situation has changed the capture zone is moving it's holding here oh yeah i got flashbanged anyways This, this class is pretty good for objective based ones too. Uh, like capture the objective because I mean, you can just throw the thing down and it just constantly heals you the whole time. I have no idea what's like, as far as classes go, I don't know what things are potentially, you know, broken and what things aren't. So I'm not gonna give any feedback on what's like what should be tuned up, what should be tuned down. I have no idea. I'm way too casual to give all that feedback, to be honest. But this initial impressions feels pretty good. And faster health regen, or even just a little bit of regen while while doing damage. Nice. Completed a base challenge. But yeah, like like I said, somebody who who as somebody who typically plays single player games, RPGs, all that fun stuff, this game has definitely impressed me more than I oh, <laughs> definitely impressed me more than I expected. <laughs> that was sick. Fifty nine minutes on the dot. That was actually an amazing grenade. And that, that right there is why... Definitely cook your grenades. Get get to cooking. You gotta cook them grenades. Ah, oh, I swapped the secondary. Yeah, they destroyed it there. Okay, my, my ult is available. Oh. If we hit 200, I'm dropping it here, and then we're just going to heal through it. All right, let's do it. 
Stay in this little area. Can I heal him? I like capturing. The capture zone is changing location. Don't think you can lose at oh. this point. Uh oh, it's changing to closer to them. Can I go around? That was a good flank though that was a really good flank at first not see that coming come on we're so close damn oh the tack 50 yeah I don't know if we'll be able to get it on that objective, but if it if this thing moves and gets closer to us, I think we got it. Whoa! I didn't even know you could go up here. If guerrilla warfare was easy, there'd be a lot fewer fascists in the world. Capture it! We just need to get into the objective, set down the seal, and then we got it. All right, GG. That's it. That is it. 250. Damn. I score. Not too bad. Is that? Is that? Is it? There we go. That's what I like to see. Capturing time one. Uh, let's see. I'll go for the multi kills guy. Come on, somebody, somebody, come on, give me a thumbs up, one thumbs up, come on. Little, little thumbs up, no, nothing. Okay, that's fair. It's it's fine. I didn't I didn't want it anyways. But that was, a, that was a good match. So we played one match with each faction. And like I said, it's it's been better than I expected. And I'm not just saying that as a Ubisoft partner. I mean, it's free. So feel free to try it yourself if you want to. I definitely recommend uh, starting out. I would recommend either playing as uh, the cleaner does some decent damage or give yourself an extra health with phantoms. Um, all of them, though, are, are definitely viable. Libertad's probably a good starter, like these two, because you get extra health or faster healing. But they all got their perks. They all got their, their bonuses. Thank you guys for watching. If you end up enjoying this, again, leave a like on it. Let me know your thoughts on the game. And uh, for now, thanks for watching. Join the Discord if you want announcements every time I post a new video or go live. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace.